Hello everyone, Ian here at NAB 2016, and I stepped into the small HD booth, check out these really great new monitors with Wes. Wes, thanks for taking time to show us this. Uh, you're holding a monitor, so I want to show that feature first. You'll have to hold this through the entire thing. So one of the cool things about how you've designed your monitors is you've made them really feature friendly, not a lot of things to try to fit on, they're just there. So to that end, yeah. I can flip this around so you can see it. Um, really, we just tried to go for something really practical for use in the field. That's mainly what we're trying to go for. So from the construction standpoint, we've we've milled all the parts out of aluminum, which have, makes it really rugged, which is obviously, it, you know, you're going to eliminate downtime by having a rugged monitor, which is a big deal. But we've also added this rapid rail system, which is basically just long shoe mount rails um, that allows us to mount different kinds of hardware and things like that. Um, you can see here I've got a Teradek uh, bolt mounted to it. It actually um, is powered by the monitor too. So we have a Limo 12 volt power built in. So all that's coming from the single Anton Bauer and you can split that power out to multiple accessories and give yourself a lot of uh, you know, options from that perspective. And that, that bracket that's holding your Teradek, that, that's a product that you're manufacturing and it goes right into your rail that's, system. That's this little rapid rail uh, mount here, um, it's you know very, very simple little device and again because it's shoe mount you can almost use anything like a like a, a, a Israeli arm or that kind of stuff to go right in the back so there's a lot of flexibility here um, in an affordable way. Alright yeah. okay so now we're looking at the back of the monitor and again we have the same characteristics yeah. we have uh, the mounting point for yep. your battery the battery powers everything That's right. okay and we've got the rail system that holds the cable here as a strain relief yes, but as we saw we also could put our Teradek or right. whatever yep. Receiver we wish yeah. on there, yeah. Um, and then I see that we have a built-in platform right. or table base. Correct. Yeah. There's a there's a, a, a table stand here, and it, there's a um, a C stand mount right in this, so you can go straight from a table to a C stand very quickly without a problem. A lot of people like using this as a drinks tray, so it kind of doubles. <laughs> um, this this area, even right here, is actually NATO rail. So we just tried to throw as many mounting options on here as possible, so that people had tons of flexibility. And we just wanted to see less tape used on monitors, right. in, just in the field. You know, yeah. that was kind of our goal: is to see as little tape as possible. Plus, to, to walk away with it, there's a handle right here that you can grab and go. Um, and all of this will go into a flight case, our flight case, without having to take this stuff off. Um, so if so I if you purchase this, is there like the base model or is everything here? Right now, there's just the base model and depending on what the customer needs, we're probably going to build some kits that you can save a little money on and get get some of this stuff. At, at a, but at is this, does this come with it? Uh, part this of the does not. This is, this is independent, um, but there are accessories that are, are available when the monitor ship. Awesome. All right, so let's flip it around. Yeah. Let's let's take a look at the other. Oh, first of all, let's notice on the connector side, a little right. telltale here. We have four SDIs uh, on the yes. side of here. Okay. And notice that we have quad viewing here. Yeah. So the quad view for for inputs, we actually have two SDI ins and one HDMI in, and they all have outputs. So that's why there's four SDI connectors there, and we can we'll be able to preview all three inputs on this quad view view. We call it multi view because we think a lot of people will use this um, for previewing LUTs and HDR and things like that. These, if I haven't mentioned it yet, these monitors are, are daylight viewable. They're very bright. This is a thousand nits. Uh, this is a 17. The 24 inch is also a thousand nits and the 32 is 1500 nits. So they're very very bright monitors, very practical for outdoor viewing, but the brightness also gives us the ability to do HDR as well. Okay, um, that was my next question. Right, so, so where do you stand with this? Uh, obviously we're at NAB, yeah. you know, things are happening. Yeah. So where do we stand with uh, be able to use this as an HDR monitor? Well, when we launch, we will have HDR capability built into the product, and that'll be shipping sometime in May. Um, so what we have here today is still prototype phase stuff, but we have a very strong, capable color pipeline in the monitor. You can create a LUT for just the display to make sure it's calibrated. You can add a LUT, a 3D LUT in to, uh, to provide a creative LUT, and you can view those LUTs all at the same time in this quad view if you want to. So you could have input one with raw, input one with LUT, input two with raw, input two with LUT, and kind of go from there. Or those could also be the HDR uh, preview as well. And to input LUTs into this monitor, how are we doing that? We're, to bring LUTs in, yeah. uh, there's an SD card slot here in the front, goes straight in. So you just keep your SD, your SD card loaded with the LUTs that you would normally use for and, whatever camera. Okay, and you're recognizing cube files? 
basically any type of file. We, we've tried to adapt to every type of file, and anytime someone says, hey, this type doesn't work, we add it. And so it's basically the library is growing, but uh, we haven't, right now, we don't really have any complaints about stuff not working. Yeah, and you guys have been really awesome about firmware updates yeah. and keeping stuff really current really quickly. So, you know, the, the cool thing about getting a small HD is that you're buying it at this point in time, but it just gets better over time because the firmware keeps getting better. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, price point? Price point on these, um, this is $4,000, uh, $3,999. Um, the seven, sorry, this is a 17 inch. The 24 inch is uh, 5,500 and the 32 is 8,000. And they're all going to be available as of May 2016? Correct, yeah. So we're, we're, we're very close on everything. There's just, you know, this final coming together of stuff. So it's, it's, it's but it's a pretty exciting time for us right now. And tell me a little bit about, you know, uh, the, the panel itself in terms of construction. Because I yeah. noticed you've got this interesting little milling yep. here. Yeah, yeah, the, the construction, all, like I said, these all, all are made from milled pieces of aluminum, which has given us a lot of flexibility. Uh, we wanted these products to be durable. Um, the screen here, we can add a three millimeter thick protector. We have a very inexpensive acrylic option. We'll have a more expensive uh, hardened anti-glare option if people want to keep it on while they're shooting. But some people just want that on there just during transport. But you can install it with these little uh, screws here. Just lock them in very quickly. You don't even really need a tool, just a key or a coin or something like that. That will lock it in, um, and again, that just really protects the product. Help but notice this image here. You're cleaning yeah. your, your, your baby here through yeah. glass. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just... yeah. This this shot is a little bit gratuitous, uh, we know, but it was a lot of fun to shoot. But we we really did test the monitor's uh, durability. We wanted to make sure that they were going to last. So we shot the screen with with really high speed paintballs to make sure it was going to resist, um, and we actually shot the the back of it with with real bullets here, um, and it resisted that even. So um, on some level, the the monitor is bulletproof. Okay, <laughs> so we're really looking forward to seeing these uh, and checking them out when everything's up and running in May. So thanks so much. Absolutely. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.